Yo, hello great people, African Travel again, and today we're going to one of the biggest projects that is ongoing in Nairobi, the Nairobi Expressway. So, Nairobi Expressway has been delayed for over a decade because the government was expecting the World Bank to fund the project, but as always, World Bank always delay. The expressway is the first major road project to be undertaken under the public-private partnership model and the project is on steroid. Like there's a big change within a very very short time. Within a week you find so much change and the building from Monday to Monday, weekends, holidays. Yeah, so the contractor building the JKIA Westland Expressway expects to cut the construction time by six months and uh, deliver the project by June 2022 so uh, the project was expected to end in December 2022 but has been reduced to 20 to June 2022 this is a good news for users of the Mombasa busy Mombasa road which is infamous for traffic gridlock witness for so many years since construction work of the expressway started this has worsened as well because uh, most of the part of the road are usually closed at some sub, some point in time. So the expected date of completion as I said earlier uh, had initially been slated for December 2022 but has been cut down by six months to June 2022. So 2022 will be also a year, an election year in Kenya and I won't be surprised to see politicians holding rallies on top of this road and promising Kenyans how they will build another road on top of this one <laughs> ah, politicians <clears throat> so the 60 billion road project runs from Mlolongo and terminates at james gishuru road in westlands it started around uh, october 2019 uh, and i told you the uh, the completion date so the china road bridge corporation crb is constructing the 27 27.1 kilometer so the contractor will then operate the expressway for 27 years and rec recoup its investment through collection of road tolls. So this will be the first uh, road toll in Kenya. Uh, so the government did not take any loan to build the road. Uh, China Road Bridge took the responsibility. So what, they, what they're basically doing is they're building the road and they will charge toll on the road uh, for 27 years and then give the project back to the government. So the government has allocated China Road Bridge to review the set uh, base toll rates so, so, and focus to generate about 302 billion uh, shillings of revenue which will offer the Chinese firm an annual profit of 3.9 billion, so, which is a good deal for them. Each driver on the Nairobi Expressway will be required to pay a fee of between 100 and 1,500 shillings, depending, so which is basically between $1 to $15. Things like saloon cars will most basically pay about 100, uh, which is $1, and uh, large trucks will pay most definitely about $15 of 1,550, depending on the size of the car, distance traveled, but the changes will fluctuate to cushion the Chinese operator from the exchange rate losses. So the PPP, this infrastructure financing model for road construction that both avoid adding to already high debt level in Kenya while reducing the risk for creditors mirrors the changing uh, that are taking places in countries like Mozambique and Uganda as well. So the Nairobi, my, my, Nairobi Mausamit Road is also expected to take the same uh, model. The Kenya estimate the completion of the road will reduce the motorist time taken from two hours during rush hour to about 10 to 15 minutes. As always guys, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Please like. Thank you. Thank you. It's in Nyayo. This is the stadium, Nyayo Stadium. The pillars just in between. As I said earlier, if you're going to use the road that I'm currently using, in future you won't have to pay.
but if you're going to use the highway in the middle you'll be obliged to pay Westlands right now interesting it's on both sides Mombasa Road will be below
they are placing beams here I believe that is the correct word let's see this is the first one they're connecting the beams from pillar to pillar interesting interesting Nairobi has become one huge construction site. Ankanas. Ankanasa. You deliver fresh milk to your doorstep. Brilliant concept. Brilliant. Brilliant concept. Lots of progress on this road. Lots of progress on this road, guys. As you can see. Actually, the charges for the road, uh, it's, it's already up, so the road is expected to be completed in 2022, around 2022, and uh, it will be the first real toll road in Kenya. Hello. the road will be is that uh, the, the company that is building the road the Chinese company will charge the toll uh, will, will charge toll on vehicle using the, the road for 27 years then after 27 years they will hand it over to the government after repaying themselves so it's, it's kind of interesting uh, one of its kind in Kenya so I think uh, this is the model the future government of Kenya will more, most likely use because uh, it does not really impact heavily in terms of uh, it does not really impact negatively in terms of borrowing so yeah it's a model I really advocate for I don't know what you guys think and if you guys haven't subscribed, please, please, you're not doing me justice. <laughs> please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And like the video, share a comment. And we'll always appreciate you guys for that. Thank you.